Hey guys, welcome back to another part of Star Wars Battlefront. In the last part, we took care of the fall of Yavin 4. In this part, we'll be handling the Battle of Hoth, so let's jump into that. The Empire has discovered Echo Base. We must hold off their troops for as long as possible and protect the shield generator. Delay them until the evacuation is complete. Okay, so the Empire's found our new base on Hoth. Defend the shield generator and use tow cables to trip up the AT-ATs. Yeah. You have no idea how much it's gonna pain me to have to cut out that clip right there. Oh my gosh. Battle of Hoth is probably the best battle in any Star Wars film. At least, like, battle, battle, not lightsaber battle. It's hard to say what best battle in general. Anyways. Okay, let's go. Rebel pilot. Get in you. Come on. And now this is kind of annoying. Yeah. I don't know why I decided to switch there, but whatever. Main thing you want to do here. The Empire has three command posts. You have like five. So yeah, already an advantage. And better yet, two of the Empire's command posts are destructible command posts and the ATATs. So yeah. My stupid computer friend here. I'm really bad at flying around these things and tripping up. ATATs it doesn't help that computers are a terrible shot with the tow cable. But anyways, yeah, my friend tried to go for the one in front. I really didn't want to go after that one first because that leaves this one in the back to freely fire on us. So I managed to snipe his leg and grab it and the first ATATs out. So we can take this out. They're gonna be losing a ton of command posts. Or command points. And you may also have noticed from this point on the Empire Oops, I meant to push R1, not R2. Anyways, from this point on, the Empire is going to have a jump on you in reinforcements by 50 each level from this point onwards. The last four levels in the game, they have a 50-man advantage to start out at each level. This one is not too much of a problem because you can take out the AT-ATs. So, yeah. Looks like the computers are actually going to be... Wow, they actually took it out! You know the computers are complete idiots when it comes to this, and still, bunkers getting overrun. And you want to hold this thing as long as possible. This one's going to get under attack a lot just because the AT-ATs walk right by it first. So even if you do take it out, this and is going to take a lot of attacks. And unfortunately, there's no other command post near this one for your side. So it can be a bit difficult taking back once lost. So another annoying thing about these two bunker command posts, there's another one over over yonder, is that you can actually capture it while slightly outside the thing, which is really annoying because you can just hide right there in that little corner. <sighs> I mean, yeah, let's do that. A little smart strategy to do is as... A robo pilot, go ahead and throw yourself health and ammo. You cannot replenish the ammo of those health and ammo canisters. Don't bother. They weren't gonna let you just get an unlimited supply of that, but whatever. And we've almost got this stupid thing. Okay. We've the there we go. There's probably still an Imperial trooper around here somewhere. There he is. Yeah, that's right. Get out of that turn and die. Okay, there's an ATT left, but. Still getting swarmed by snow troopers over here. Yeah, like to jump in your turrets and take that on. Yeah, let's just stay here. Hopefully, I can just hold this out. And that turret's still being manned by a snow trooper, so they didn't notice us. I think I can hit from No, what am I shooting at? No, I can't hit that one. What was I thinking? So, yeah. I do feel like feel that the rebels have a major advantage in this map. Though it's kind of balanced out when computers are playing because computers are really stupid trying to with trying to take out the uh, ATATs with their T47s. They're not good at it at all. So, you know, 
Let's try to put a dent in this ATST with this turret because once it gets over here, it's gonna tear pretty much any guys who spawn here to shreds and turret survived at least. Okay. Yeah, it's a problem. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully I can take this guy out while he's not paying attention. Looks like he turned back around. Yeah, they're complete idiots and they'll just jump out of it. No, sorry, let me take over. Okay. So let's just try to snipe this dude while he's way over there. I think I can take him out before he gets over here. Defend the so, yeah. shield generator. Though, when, like, for online, when it's mostly just human players involved, this would definitely favor the rebels. When it's just you and a ton of computers with you, it's not as rebel rebel favored and again these ATATs are beasts when it comes to anything but snow speeders going after them so they can definitely take a lot of hits from you in this game at least they got really nerfed in next game which I really didn't like actually so like if you're still good a good player with this you can definitely still win against the rebels as the Empire because if you're a good shot with that laser, you can one shot a snow speeder with the main guns of an ATAT, -AT, so just a little bit of timing needed. And we lost that command post. Uh actually taking the lead in reinforcements now. Let's just go to him. And try to just hold this position because right now they've got ATAT -AT over there. They just like mostly overran that position. Let's try to wear this guy out more. Like the bunker is probably lost at this point. Maybe if we take this ATAT -AT out, I can go back and get it, but the other ATAT -AT will probably spawn by then. And probably just be swarming in that command post. Defend the shield uh, generator. This may be a bit of a problem. Now they got two ATATs, so they're not gonna be losing reinforcements just because they have too few command posts at any point in the near future, so a bit of a problem with that, but wearing down this ATAT. -AT. Basically my main focus right now is just to keep those ATATs -AT far away from the shield generator. Or the power generator basically. Incoming! Because we'll I do not want to be down to only three command posts on this map at this point. If we can just hold it to these four, we could probably handle it. I think it'll probably go dead even with this as it is. Let's take out that jerk trying to blast us. And I'm dead. Yeah, computers enemy computers actually decided to be smart and use their rocket launchers against your turret. That actually was rather surprising. We have another turret over here. I'd really like to take out that walker. Yeah, payback. Uh, I hope that was he who killed me. So, yeah, these snipers are getting a little too close. Oh, hello there. Yes, you die too. Watch out. Don't run in front of me. Screw it, I'm gonna see if I can't take it out with concussion grenades and thermal detonators. That's right, I'm gonna take out an ATAT -AT with some thermal detonators. Probably just another turret will take it out. Like, one shot from a turret at that point will probably take out the logger. And oh my gosh, he's using my own strategy against me. But, you lost. That is actually the first time a computer has done that and avoided my attacks that well. I've never seen him go back and forth like that ever. I think they're copying me. Ah, uh, stupid freaking who knows who beat me to it. Or I don't even know if a thermal detonator would be able to actually affect that outcome at all. I'm just gonna mess with this. Put a few shots on him and then my aim focus is just to take out these infantry because there's not gonna be another ATAT -AT over here for a while. Should we get these jerks coming up through here. Die. Okay, we got that dude. Uh, we're about to blow up. Let's just go out here and shoot some more. 
sniper. I'm not a problem at this close range, but I'm gonna kill him anyways. And I may have gotten myself killed moving out that far. No, I'm still fine. Take this sniper. Defend the shield generator. Alright, this battle's winding down a bit, we get the edge. So hopefully we'll just hold on to the lead. Mm. Down will be able to push out against the bone ground. I'm dead. Yup. Oh, I took that guy with me at least. And wait. Okay. Remember uh, Yeah, I wanna do this, okay. Don't even know. Let's just try to tear apart this ATAT. Yeah, there's two main strategies. I haven't really gone over this, but the two main strategies I like to employ on this level is one, just use this T47s, the snow speeders, blah blah blah, to trip up the ATATs whenever they spawn, and that keeps them down to one command post for the most part, and you win easily. Another strategy is just hanging out at the bunker the entire time, just use turrets like this. Kind of just take out the ATATs while holding the bunker from the other troopers that come out, spawn out from the walkers, and try to take the command post. And that one, that strategy is actually pretty fun to do, but it's a little more difficult when the enemy has 50 reinforcements on you. On hard, so. Bit of a problem with that. Let's try to take this guy out before his turret comes around. Can I get him? No. Nope. And, uh. Didn't, didn't take anyone out. <sighs> well, what does it matter? We got. A very solid lead, so. I don't think we gotta worry about these guys too much. Missed him! Gosh, dang it! I had him not move me. And there we go, oh uh, crud. You gonna keep shooting at me? Yeah, look at that. I really hurt you with that shot, didn't I? No, no, no. So yeah, two separate types of turrets. One super effective against infantry, the other pretty solid against vehicles. I mean, they don't exactly tear vehicles apart, but Actually, I can probably take him out with this. Yes, there you go. Goodbye. Um, maybe I should just use this turret to try to snipe some troops at this point. Boom. Okay. Um, Enemy in range. Can we see these guys? Uh, Victory is imminent. Um, hold still. Hold still. Stop. Defend Stop the doing that. See, look at that. That's the thing I was talking about, like, a few parts ago. They know exactly when you're gonna shoot at them, and then they jump out of the way. Like, even when they're not looking at you, sometimes. They'll just be like, oh, sorry, I can't let you do that, Star Fox. But, yeah. This battle's winding down fast. We pretty much got this thing taken care of at this point. Okay, so let's just kill what's left of the Imperial Troopers. Okay. Sights have been, I moved that too far, didn't I? Yep. Still enough them to take me out. And whoa, what the? How the heck did that happen? Jeez, Louise, they're just pushing out like crazy now. Still probably got this under control, though. Yeah, we have this thing in the bag still. Okay, jerk. Let's take out you. Void, oh my gosh, he's actually being rather smart with those. Oh, have been cut off. 
You got me in there jumping away from that thing and you didn't take advantage, so still computer stupidity. We've captured a command post. We've captured a command post. Come on, maybe I can get there and take that guy out. Can I can I make it? He's gonna try by everyone, I don't think I'm gonna make it, unless he's a turban. Nope, I won. Hooray. We did it, so finally, this was actually my like fourth attempt at doing this, so this actually gave me more problems than Yavin 4. Surprisingly. But whatever. This is arguably the most difficult mission in the game. So whatever. 49 and 10, ton of deaths, but whatever. Who gives a crap? We got survivalist. Hooray. Luke Skywalker got dead eye. How do you get a headshot with the lightsaber? That's not fair. But yeah. Let's just save this. The Empire. Now I'm gonna kill myself for having to cut out that clip, but whatever, we took care of Battle Hoth in the next part of Liberation of Cloud City. See you guys then.